Okay, so that's we Joe the Vodish, and welcome back to Stalin's StarCraft 2 Battle Report. And the beta has been extended to June 7th, much to my rejoicement. So that means more StarCraft 2 matches and gameplay before the beta closes. Very exciting. I'm totally excited. And uh, so let's go. This is a 2v2 map again on Twilight Fortress. I, the Stalinator, command the Red Protoss. My ally, Sybil, commands the Blue Terran, and across the map we face Aleka Prawn, commanding the Teal Terran, and Throne, commanding the Purple Terran. So, we've got a, uh, you know, a good 2v2 match going on here. I've actually been finding something that someone's message me over Steam, I think. And uh, unfortunately for them, I cannot see the message, and therefore not respond. But anyway, I've actually been, you know, playing this game more and more and more. And I'm beginning to realize that what was once my strongest race, the Terran, has now become my weakest race that I lose with the most. And now, um, most of my victories are either as the Protoss or the Zerg, and not doing so well as the Terran, as the Terran anymore. Not exactly sure, you know, why that is. I just, I just don't think I'm using siege tanks to all that, uh, all that effectively. It's probably my problem. But anyway, this is a, uh, a fun match. I, I liked this match. And, um, I think my ally said something that he was going, uh, Marines and Marauders. I wasn't paying attention to the, the conversation. I might have gotten it confused with a different map. But he says, I'm going Marines and Marauders, and I say, hey, uh, you're going ground, I'm going to go air, do mass void rays to support you. Is our plan. Uh, combined arms in this match. So I'm going to put down an early cybernetics core along with the gateway getting out a couple zealots. My ally, Sybil, has put down just one barracks, a couple uh, supply depots, and across the field we got one barracks from our enemies along with a uh, tech lab upgrade from Throne. Also going for the early command center upgrade. Something that I should uh, probably, maybe that could be another problem as Terrans that I don't upgrade my command center to a uh, community... Oh orbital command or whatever it is and then get uh, that resource advantage duly noted anyway fortunately it's going to take me a little bit of time to uh, get to those void rays so I'm hoping that my ally will be able to hold the line while I'm advancing to um, to uh, those void rays and um, people are are asking me, you know, how do I add you again on StarCraft? I need your email, um, so on and so forth, blah, 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 blah. I'll change um, uh, my identifier to my email in the, this new description, but I mean, the beta is closing in, you know, four days or something, and, you know, by that time, it might not matter, so whatever. You can add me if you want, but... uh you may, may as well just wait till the the game comes out on July 27th and then just you know, add me then when there'll be no more issues and confusion and uh, we'll actually have the game in our hands and being able to play it. So, getting down. Not having a whole lot to defend myself with right now. Only got one Zealot and one um, Stalker. And same with uh, poor Sybil. Sybil is behind in the unit count. We can already see uh, Marines and Marauders combined forces from our enemies. Also looking at our income. Oh, uh, we're all about the same at income, so nothing new there. Also going to have this uh, Stalker stand over here in case we're going to be Marine uh, or, or whatever rushed. Uh, Reaper, there's the guys. Always gonna, I always like to have a stalker around, just in case that happens, because uh, those reapers can't do crap against the stalker. 
So finally getting my first Stargate down. Uh, those Void Rays are quite expensive. It takes a little bit of time to amass those minerals and amass those resources. Uh, we're seeing plenty of production facilities for my ally. Um, not that many units. Getting a, a little bit more units out now. We're seeing a, a nice combined force here. Got the first Stargate down. We will soon be ready to rock and roll. There we go. First Void Ray coming out. Coming out into the field to wreak havoc. And I... I've really grown to like uh, this map, and also, I should also mention something that I really enjoy 2 versus 2, uh, much more than I enjoy 1 versus 1, because I'm, I'm kind of a social guy, I like to have a, a friend and, and somebody to talk to, uh, 1 versus 1 seems kind of lonely to me, and also I think you see a little bit more interesting tactics when 2 versus 2, and then with 3 versus 3, um, I'm having a lot of issues finding good allies when it comes to 3 versus 3 and I always seem to get um, guys that you know don't know what they're doing and it's really tough to coordinate <laughs> two other people into some kind of cohesive unit and then with 4 versus 4 it gets even harder to uh, <laughs> organize 4 people but like I said when the real game comes out and I start you know adding uh, uh, you know, subscribers and, and meeting cool you know, people who want to play over uh over StarCraft, then we'll be able to, you know, combine our forces into some kind of super army, and then uh, kick some ass. But anyway, we see this combined Marine and Marauder force moving out across the field. I've got one, uh, a couple more Void Rays coming in at this point. My ally has some units to to hold this, uh, to brunt this attack. And they can also see, uh, I gotta charge uphill, and uh, there's always a, a terrain advantage when they're trying to come up the hill, and uh, they're gonna get take it down. Here comes my void rays. They're gonna pull back. The whole team is gonna pull back. I'm gonna try and hold them here with these uh, void rays. Threatening, not gonna send them out. Not gonna get them killed. Also, we're gonna have them try and micro down. Um, these marauders, because these marauders are going to do the most damage, especially to the buildings. Able to take out a couple, but this enemy force is in our base, killing our dudes. So he had a, a tank coming in there, not going to be able to stop me. Also, uh, destroying some of these marines, and here comes, he's going to go straight for the SCV line, straight for the command center, trying to blow shit up. And uh, my ally has some units out there, and they're going to focus fire entirely on that command center. Now, got just about all the marauders down, and all there's only four marines left in the base. These SCVs are going to return and start repairing that command center, and this whole force has been uh, destroyed. Unfortunately, at great cost to my ally, but almost zero cost to me. Not losing a single void ray. So at this point, I decide, hey, let's uh, let's go on the offensive. Let's gather together our troops. Or, well, me going on the offensive. My ally doesn't have any troops right now. But uh, I'm going to gather together what void rays I have and, and go on some kind of uh, daring assault with these three vessels. Unfortunately, not speed upgraded yet. We can see that uh, slowly but surely, our enemies are getting down starports. They see my void rays coming out, and they're going to try and counter with those Vikings, which in large numbers will be a, a, a decent counter to void rays. But if uh, they're evenly matched with stalker with, with void rays and Vikings, uh, those Vikings are probably going to lose out as long as you effectively micromanage your void rays. So here I come with these three ships. I'm gonna start destroying uh, this guy and all his SCVs. He's gonna pull back. Then now I'm gonna turn on the command center and have these ships uh, start firing their beams into it. Switch to high damage mode, and uh, they're gonna tear down this command center, and it's gonna go down. And there you have it. 
I managed to delay this guy's economy. Gonna try and move in a little bit deeper into his base. You can see that he's getting some missile turrets down. And then I see those SUVs are repairing that missile turret. I gotta get out of here. <laughs>